in a tight-knit community. Where's this ram? He's sick. The department. They're taking the whole bloody valley. Where there's a war. They're not taking my sheep. There's a way. Oh, my lovely girls. From the director of Last Cab to Darwin. We find no sheep. He is done. <laughs> this October. It means everything to them. You'll be right, mate. Fight for your flock. It smells like sheep. No sheep. A lot of air freshener, though. <laughs> you little ripper. Rams in cinemas October 29. Well, Michael, it's lovely to see you again. <clears throat> we hung out with each other at Cinefest Oz in WA a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but um, we yeah, had a, mate, no, a lovely time we had there. And um, so it's good to see you again, and it's good to see you back on the big screen. How are you feeling? Mate, I'm, I'm all dressed up and, and nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like that at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just uh, I've really the lockdown uh, has been really tough. Yeah. You know, uh, I've got out. I've done a couple of charity uh, voiceovers and bits and pieces like that. But uh, yeah. I've just been really bored. Yeah, <laughs> I, no, I, I hate get it. that, mate. I hate it when I'm not working. So uh, Rams, I got. I watched it the other day. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Your character is a bit different to what we've seen before. You play. Um, yeah, no more Mister Nice Guy, mate. <laughs> how was it playing the? Uh, <laughs> What's the best way to put it? The angry, the angry drunk well, who likes to sleep in fields. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sort of. I, I wouldn't call that sleeping. I would no. call that a semi coma. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, mate, it was. Uh, I, I must admit, sort of. Sam got all the good comedy in it, so I'm 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 hanging out for a comedy. Yeah, <laughs> please. Well, you did have a few. There was a few, few good moments with you, like when you're hanging off the side of the building, giving the the fingers up in the air and that sort of stuff. <laughs> it, oh yeah, it, it's a lot of fun falling over in paddocks at seventy seven, mate. It's it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it like down in Mount Barker? Like, how was the locals and, and oh all that? mate, the locals are champions. We couldn't have we couldn't have made the film without the the locals at, at Mount Barker. And what a backdrop, the Sterling Rangers, you know. Sort of uh, in our second shoot because we shot, uh, shot it when it was green and we shot it when it was dry, yeah. and then of course at at that second shoot all the wildflowers are out. So it's this, it's just an amazing. WA is just so diverse. I yeah. mean, I, I was talking to someone earlier and I said you need a lifetime just to see all of WA. You would. Yeah, no, it's true. Like I, ha- I, I still haven't seen much of the. Well, I haven't been up north too far, but the southwest. I go down the southwest as much as I can. I love it down there. Um. So yeah, and you got to see some great areas of it. Did you? Did you get to go fishing or anything? Um. No. No, we didn't. And I'm I'm the world's worst fisherman. I don't call it fishing. <laughs> I call it feeding the fish. Feeding the fish. <laughs> um. So. Obviously, the, the character that you played is, as I said, was very different to what you've done before. Yeah. What was it like getting into that sort of mindset to play him? Um, I mean, in, uh, initially, he starts off as like a bit of a grunt. But, yeah. And then, then it goes downhill, you know, sort of after all the bad stuff happens, he hits the bottle. Yeah. So uh, it was uh, playing that. Was it a, was it fun? No, not necessarily fun. No, but good. You know, I mean, it yeah. was it was good to to have. You know, usually I I play this really nice bloke or something, so it was really yeah. good to play something uh, really different. You know, so that's uh, that's the best thing I can say about it. I mean, it was physically uncomfortable to shoot. Yeah, I bet. You know, so if you you've you've seen what we we go through with that, so yeah. there's it, there was a lot of physical stuff in it, but of course Sam and I make what is incredibly fit specimens <laughs> of, of Australiana, or, or should I say Australasia? <laughs> and how was it working with Sam? Like, oh, lovely, mate. He's lovely. He, he he moves through the world with great grace. 
I think Sam is the is the best way I could describe it. He does. He he uh, he moves quite gracefully through the world. I wish I could. I'm, I'm a bit of a uh, sort of elbow what my way through the world. I think sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now those those um. Obviously, the, where the the farmhouses are, were those built for the movie, or were they already there? No, one was. My house was built. Yeah, and, and uh, the other house uh, was built for the film. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, and did you get up close and personal with the sheep? Did you learn much about sheep while you were on the film? Mate, I know, I know about sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um. I come from central Queensland and my family and myself know all about sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you, uh, I know that this is a, a remake of a, a foreign film. Um, did you watch that foreign film? Yes, I did. I did. I, I uh, really enjoyed it too. Our film is very different. Yeah. Uh, because our sense of humour is, is quite different to an Icelandic sense of humour. But uh I, I, I loved the film. I thought it was great. Fantastic. Now, just jumping off Rams for a second, um, you've done a plethora of roles over your fantastic career. Is there any, is there any roles that you would like to <coughs> revisit? Is there any characters that you like? I wouldn't mind revisiting that one. No, I want to do... Uh, I would love to get a part on a movie... That was nothing to do with anything I've done. Yep. Under, under a prosthesis or this or, I mean, I used to do all sorts of Slavic accents and everything, yep. and I never get to do asked to do that. <laughs> but I would like to play really different roles. Oh, well, if any have filmmakers a, watch this, Michael wants to do something different. Have a bit of fun with them. Have a bit That's of fun it. with them. Um, so, obviously, you've done some TV, you've done some films. Is there a preference for you or you just like being on any screen you can get onto? Oh, look, I just love, I just love that gear you go into when you're working. Yeah. I really enjoy that space. And, you know, I'm, I sort of slop around the home and I, you get me on a set and, and it's like uh, uh, I'm the energizer bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get that wonderful energy out of it. Yeah, you, um, when I when I asked you that question, you, I saw your smile just start to come up. You can see how much you love it, <laughs> and that's that's yeah, that's really great to see. Um, and obviously, I've grown up seeing you on screen since I was a lot younger. And um, do, do people ever mention the character of Uncle Harry from the Sullivans? Like I was talking to one of my writers about you yesterday, and he straight away is like Uncle Harry. Does does anyone still bring that up? Or yeah, yeah. Especially in Melbourne, yeah. I, I, you know, because my wife's a Melbourne girl, and we we spend usually do spend a, a quite a bit of time in Melbourne, and uh, yeah, very much so. And just to wrap up, I've, I've got to ask you um, the Pack to the Rafters sequel, or whatever it is that's coming on Amazon. Um, yeah, how was that? Did you jump we, back uh, on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was such a lovely cast and crew. That it was it was lovely to go back, yeah. and then and then we we just about had it all shot, and then we got closed down for coronavirus, and and uh, so we had to come back about a month ago, and just finish the scenes we hadn't done, and oh, fantastic. So it was hello goodbye again. But it's, <laughs> uh, they're, they're a wonderful bunch of people. I really enjoy working with them. Yeah. Well, Michael, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. It's really good to see you again, and um, the movie's great. And I want to see you more on screen as much as possible. That's good, mate. Keep me out of the house. <laughs> get, get, get me out from under the wives' feet, you know. <laughs> no worries, Michael. Thanks, mate. Good luck. Lovely right. to talk to you, Darren. Bye for now, mate.